okay so guys uh, welcome back um today i'm going to uh talk about uh one of the one of the things which which you might have uh, um you you might have faced uh, while working with the google sheets which is to actually uh, bring the data from the excel and uh, the point is that we have a number of sheets in excel and i'm going to tell you that how we can without any programming how we can actually go and uh, link those different different excel spreadsheets with google uh, sheets okay so here is a situation pay attention so i'm i'm telling you one now the the thing what we are supposed to do you see actually here uh, for example we i have here a lot of sheets okay different different sheets now somehow what i'm doing that i have some output in excel which i actually have uh, generated using the macro okay so i got uh, i have created some code in the macro and uh, why macro because uh, first of all i do not know google app script okay and another thing is that um, in excel let's say this was the requirement okay so you see i have got here this file which is final output and it has number of sheets all these sheets okay now all these sheets are the final outputs actually which my uh, which my macro is producing now i want basically the plan is that i have already got these sheets in my google spreadsheet okay in my google uh, google sheet i have already got these sheets right but there they are they uh, you know they are there with their uh, uh, the original output okay they are there with their original basically the shape which means this is just the output which i want to go and paste over there but if i show you any sheet for example let's go and talk about this particular sheet you see here i have a lot of data here right so every day what i do is that i i get here count open click and this header and this header for example these are the headers which i you know go and pull out from the excel sheet but my challenge is that i directly cannot go and say equals to and i cannot link this with the excel okay i have got the output in the excel so what we are going to do is we are going to import all the sheets here and then let's see how we can just with one formula i can go and publish all these numbers here for this sheet and then same formula i will go and paste in the another sheet another sheet another sheet another sheet all the sheets so we need not to rework on that uh, uh, on it okay so let's go and now first of all do this yeah so see that we have got the data here okay so these are all the final sheets uh, the output sheets which the macro has given now the thing is that all these sheets belongs to different different google spreadsheets we want to basically uh, copy and paste this data in their respective sheets right inside this uh, google file so now the thing is that like for example this is the sheet now this is where i want to go and take that data so i can say equals to and then you know we can directly go to that sheet for example let me pick any sheet for example this is my sheet and i say that you know i want this data basically this one these are the numbers we needed correct this is how you will do it and then uh, uh, c2 as we move this formula from left to right you know we will have the the outputs right so if i just say copy and i just go and say let's say control c control v you see we will have all the numbers and remember that as i said that these headers over there are in a sequence right because there is a proper planning which has already been done now the thing is that if you have a lot of sheets like for example then i have another sheet which is this google sheet so here also i will have actually the same problem isn't it so here also we i if i have to go and link this with that different uh, output sheet like for example this time this is going to be the sheet you know i will do the same stuff i hope you got the problem right this is not a problem but this is very time consuming especially if you have uh, multiple sheets and you want to go one by one and you know take those outputs over here so i have a better plan now what is that plan that's what i'm actually going to show you see guys what happens what we will do we will take the help of the indirect function now indirect function in excel or whether it is a google sheet it works the same way okay so so what we are supposed to do is uh you have to go to that sheet okay so without basically making sure that this formula should work in other sheets also you simply go and say indirect okay now in the indirect 
we if i say for example i want let's say a1 and i press enter you will get here the answer okay you will get here the answer of a1 cell right now it is showing reference because i have to put the double code okay so you see that i'll get here a value from a1 let me change this to maybe a10 for example i think a1 is empty look at this this value as long as there is no sheet name followed by this a10 this is coming from this very sheet only if i have to pick this from any other sheet then i have to go and simply write that sheet name right for example i say that this has to come from a v sheet and then you have to write the sign of exclamation this is how the indirect works right now if i press enter now this data will come from actually another sheet right which is this sheet okay so if suppose this is a1 it has day let me come back here now let's say i say this is you know i press enter for example see that it's coming so indirect can take the value within the sheet also and it can take the value from other sheet also we know this about the indirect now here the thing is that you if i simply put this in the double quotes then the moment I, i'm going to drag the formula the formula will not work because it will always freeze and it will always give me the value called day one right and this a1 cannot be a2 because it's in the double quotes that's the problem now i was trying that you know i, I thought that though i know uh, i knew the answer but i thought okay let's just go and give it a try because the sheet name remains the same so can we not just go and concatenate this with a1 you know like this a1 and if i press enter because then my plan was that if i drag this for example left to right maybe a1 will change to a2 because a1 and a because a1 is not in the double quotes right um a1 should change to b1 and then uh, b1 and then c1 which is happening as you can see here right but indirect doesn't like this idea because indirect says that you can't concatenate it's a sheet address you have to write this within the double quotes right so this way also i could not do this okay there's another day um, another method of uh, picking the values from indirect which is that you know suppose um, let me uh, let me go and write here a1 for example like this okay now if you go and choose this method then you don't have to write the double quotes because then you can directly go and reference this cell with this one because if you go in the AE55, right, in the AE55, indirect picks the A1. Inder indirect always needs the cell address. So if I press enter, then what will happen, ultimately I will be able to get the value uh, from the A1, which belongs to this sheet. So let me change this uh, because A1 is empty. So let's say I say that 62. Okay, so if I say 62, you see I have got here value. Okay, or you can change any value. For example, right now this is U62 if i change this to u62 look at this what will happen you see that i got the value here the same value right so remember one rule that if you are going to put the address if you're going to put the address here directly then it has to be double quotes but if you're going to use the address from the different cell like in this case you know then you can't put the double quotes as simple as that because indirect will go here and it finds that what is written over here okay now if i simply say that okay i want this what will happen now you tell me now what will happen if you simply go and press enter in this case what will happen a e 55 will be considered as 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 a string your indirect will not your indirect will not actually go in the you know will not go in the u62 cell it simply go and prints the value from a e 55 which is u62 so you have to see what you want to do right now you see the thing is that because we want to pick the values so i have created a plan because both these methods are not going to help us in this situation because we want to pick the sheet names right so what so what we did is that we use the address function okay we will use this in the indirect function basically as you know that indirect always needs the address and if it is coming from a different sheet, then the sheet name. Now, sheet name is always constant, right? It is all, always the address which will change because the, mo the moment you drag the formula left to right in the downward direction. So here, address say that give me the column and the row. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to say, okay, I'm going to give you the row number. Then we go in that sheet, wherever that sheet, for example, this is the sheet. 
so we'll just go and put this you know select this and we close the formula look at this so i will be able to now get the row number of c2 which is actually 2 right then indirect says okay give me the column also because a cell is a combination of row and column again i'll sell this select the same cell you got the point so now the what the indirect will do indirect will pick the address of this right now this is what this cell actually is c2 isn't it so the moment i press enter i should be able to see here the c2 this is the magic of the power of address function okay why i am using here row and column function because i have to go there i have to pick these values from that sheet right if let's say i have to create address from within the sheet for example within the sheet then obviously i can go and use the row of that sheet of that cell also like this okay in fact you can also write manually for example if i write 2 comma 2 this is means that second row and the second column right so we will have here b2 right but since we don't we don't need the manual columns and the manual rows because we have to drag this so 2 and 2 if i drag they will not change so the magic is that if i go and drag this you will find that all the address are changing like this now the only challenge here is that which is now we are going to resolve that these are all the if i put the indirect right now over here that indirect you know if i just start the writing the formula indirect will try to go in the c2 of this sheet because there is a no sheet name so you have to make sure that the sheet name which is this one write the sheet name followed by the sign of exclamation that should also be there okay so what we are going to do i am just going to copy this only the sheet name from here because this is what i am going to do i am simply going to use this in this way and i am going to concatenate this with the address so the plan is that this way we should be able to see all the the cell addresses of that sheet right for example look at this now is it clear let me double click here right so you see now right see that okay even if you do not do not let's say know the internet though i have explained this you know you can directly use this trick it's very simple make sure you go on the right cell over there and wherever you are writing the wherever you want this output use you know go and say equals to you see now this is the address created here now if i say internet you have to go here what will happen internet will go in all these different different cells of this sheet yes that's the point so the point is very simple i will simply go now go and say internet this is the benefit of the internet right so you see now the moment i press enter i am i start getting here the values okay so i'm just going to copy them here see this i hope you have like this very small uh, you know a knowledge on the indirect function very useful now the next question obviously comes is that so how this is going to help me in the another sheet well very simple what you have to do is because this formula don't don't copy this formula don't copy the cell copy the formula okay because if you say if you copy this and paste this in another sheet you will get the reference error so you have to copy the formula from here in the formula bar okay now once that is done let me press escape so we will go in that the next sheet for example this is your next sheet right now somewhere here anywhere i don't know right somewhere here wherever you want to write the formula okay so let me for example just go and delete this so let's say i want to start from here i simply go here in the formula bar of this cell okay and i say equals to and i say press Control v now because the macro sheets which we are getting from that excel they all have the same format so i really don't have to work on the c2 over here because every time in every sheet the value starts from c2 this is very important right i only have to change the sheet name here and then that you can do very easily you just say that it's now has to be sheet called x4 followed by sign of exclamation rest everything remains the same and you can give this suggestion also as you know in this way okay so now if the moment we are done with this you can simply go and you know drag this wherever you want wherever you want like this you got the point right similarly then you will go to the you know the next sheet wherever it uh, wherever it is and you will put the formula there and you say control v okay sorry the, i have to recopy the formula and you will just go and change the sheet name okay so this is how you can this is our uh, you can say a trick you can say a tip uh, or you can say a proper actually uh the 
you know the use of the indirect formula with the address uh, the call the function okay indirect in, indirect and address function guys uh, it's a very very famous uh, combination it is very much used in excel also and uh, indirect is a function which is uh, as i said always say that it is a function many people they are not aware of it and many people find it very difficult that's why i actually have explained you that what was the real challenge and how then you can go and sort it out okay with the help of the address function thank you so much